57 Chevrolet Tudor hardtop. Dan here, DSP Chop. So, we've been working on this fine hot rod the last, uh, the last couple of days. It's been so cold. Actually, I spent the day cleaning up the garage after work, so it's already almost past my bedtime. But we're going to start and do a little bit of work here. Um, I know it doesn't look like a whole lot has been happening on the outside because all this has been happening underneath, steering, brakes, all that. So, if you missed a few videos, um, this thing was an absolute basket case. LS motor with a tunnel ram on it. Turbo 350 junk transmission I had and a 10 bolt rear end in it. And everything was just kind of sitting there, but we had the rear end welded in. Well, we, but I welded it. Welded. We got the transmission cross member in, the motor's locked in, we have the steering in, and it works with the wheel. We have the brakes done, so the pedal actually stops the car if we had to. We're actually making progress. Now, I still want to do a few more things aesthetically, and then well then really we can kind of drive or start this thing and work on, work on starting this thing. Whoa, I don't want to jump ahead there. Um, so today I've pulled all the glass out, which it's missing some, I think, which is unfortunate. Um, so we'll have to look and see what else we have. I might have some more in the shed I gotta look for. And then in here is the miscellaneous bin but I went through before and I believe I have all this stuff is like the regulator deal and all that. I hope there's enough stuff in here to make it all work. That's the plan. Anyways, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it all out and just kind of put on the, the hood, see what I have and don't have. I really would like to be able to put the glass in. I think we're basically done welding on the outside. I do have some underneath stuff Do I notice the... Uh, the rockers aren't quite done at the front, and there was I got to reshape the rear wheel well a little bit. A few kind of odds and ends there. We're still waiting on a windshield. Unfortunately, we had some really bad weather, and everything got pushed back. So maybe I'll have that in the next day or so. Would be really nice with all the glass in it, but whichever. Uh, and then we'll pull all the trim off. I want to clear coat this thing. That's the plan. And really, now, I think stuff's just kind of be going on. Uh, you know, bumper on, lights in, I have a wiring harness. We gotta wire the motor with a MSD box. But yeah, it's, uh, this is one of those things where if you had to make it run and drive in a week, we could, but there's no real point. It's crap weather, it's January, we got lots of time to screw around, but I like this thing just kind of sealed in, uh, get all the glass in it, make it look like a car. If I gotta put it outside and work on something else, or you know, take a break, do something different, I can, and it's uh, all kind of together. You with me? So, I'm going to go through the box of miscellaneous, see what it is. I already have a feeling, though, that all this regulator stuff has to have uh, little screws to attach everything together, and I guarantee I don't have anything there. So, we'll have to see what is available, and uh, if I run to the parts store before it closes, it's already kind of late. Otherwise... Maybe it's break time. Let's get after it. Okay, so... <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's cold. Um, yeah, I've heard from a bunch of people, these hard top. I don't know if it's a glass is an issue, or it's the flippers, which we don't have anyways, so no problem there. But it's a hassle. Now, I was going through everything. Uh, I think the only hardware I'm going to be missing is where the... Uh, this little bar attaches here, so I'm sure it's just a standard kind of screw we need to put in. So I'll have to find something like that, which I might be able to take off some other doors. Um, I assume these are going to be the front uh, regulator deal. So what's probably going to happen is there's going to be two little, you know, arms here. That'll fit in there somehow. And one on the back side is going to fit into the door some way. This is a spare door, which I took in because it has the wing window, which clear glass, everything else is tinted. Uh, so we're going to have to let that kind of warm up. This stuff I had kicking around, that's sedan thing. So the problem with sedans, so I believe it's a sedan. What the corded is that the sedan is taller. Yeah, the glass is taller. 
that's the whole deal. So, uh, Tri 5 Chevrolet, don't break that. The hard tops, Nomads, and convertible, I guess, are uh, the roof line is lower than a sedan, so it kind of gives it that factory chop look, which I, it's kind of neat, right? So, we have a lot of stuff there. Um, as for the back, I assume this is going to be all the stuff for the back. I'm hoping, anyways. And these, I'm assuming, are the back regulators. So the nice thing is, there's going to be holes, being this is a factory two-door, there's going to be holes in everywhere. Damn it. In the doors, where everything will kind of line up and go. Now the problem is, like that wing window will be good, but the wing window also is the front support for the glass, for it to run up and down. And then there's a piece of the back, which this one is missing. Like this, which will kind of keep it supported. So I have to go through a bunch of stuff here and just see what we got. But I think I might just start on the back glass because that's just going to be what it's going to be. We'll make sure these things run up and down, clean them up, grease them up. H. What does this side say? P. Hard top. So passenger side and driver side, I guess. But yeah. So we'll see what we got going on. I think these all I said hard top on them. Yeah. Passenger side hard top. And then Dr SPL something rather. Oh yeah, driver side. So hopefully we can make at least the driver side go together. I think we have everything we need for that. And then we'll be scabbing stuff together here for sure. That door. I don't know. That's a spare door. Maybe it's the door that was on it. I don't know. I got parts. We'll try and make it work. I think glass of this thing will be nice. So I'm going to start cleaning these up and come right back. Okay. <laughs> well, I spent the last couple hours uh, screwing around figuring this out. And uh, it's in. Now, <laughs> the problem we're going to run into, and I had should have foreseen this, I don't have any of the trim. So... Uh, if you look at a picture, like there's a big honking piece of trim that runs all the way around here and it kind of gets skinny. And I assume there's got to be some trim on the inside. And there's probably something that goes in there to hold the glass. Guess how much of that I have. So it'll be a windows down car. Um, but it's got these goofy friggin' things. But, I mean, it does... Uh, oops, that's the wrong way. It works... You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm happy with that. The front, so I don't have this little wing window deal. So I'm gonna see, you know what? Add out on Facebook, you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna do one of those tonight, just see if we get anywhere. I actually think there's a chrome piece that goes on top and around here. I actually think I have some of that. The Nomad came with a bunch of stuff. Cause again, Nomad, hard top, convertible, four door hard top, it's all the same. So we'll see what we can find there. I got the regulator in, we'll just steal the handle off this. And uh, it does work. Uh, that would be the door handle dummy. Um, you can see in there or not, but it goes. So that should be fine. That, that should actually be fine. I changed out this guide piece. So like all these little things here, that's all kind of together. Now it's holding me up from putting the glass in. I don't have any little screws to hold this in. And... Uh, you know, I gotta go to the bolt supply tomorrow, so I'll get the screws for that. I don't know if they are, we'll Google it. The main issue, all this stuff is just held with half the hardware. Oh, I, I scabbed them all off of this, which I may have. I did. So everything is held in. These little kind of, you know, nut cert deals. Um, and what they have is these short quarter inch uh, like button head Phillips bolts or whatever you want to call them. So these here, so as you can see, they're supposed to be four. I only put two in. I can't believe I use all of them. Um, but yeah, so I got to get some of them. And I have some quarter inch bolts, but they're long. I have to cut them down. And I mean, at the end of the day, run to the store, get the proper stuff. So I'm going to do all that stuff tomorrow. Put a Facebook ad out because if I can get the proper wing window, that would be sweet. And then we could put it all together. I think I have enough gear to put all the glass in this thing. And then we'll have to, uh, yeah, that's all we want to do there in the short term, which 
bit of a hassle, but hey, you know what? It's gonna be what it's gonna be, and as this thing gets further along, we'll start adding bits and pieces to it. It's missing a lot of trim. Um, you know what? I bet my good buddy David Newburn. Oh, here we go. That's passenger side, but this goes on the other side that covers the front. Yeah, but I think Newburn has a pile of parts, so if I can go there and maybe convince him that you know, let me put a few in my suitcase when I go visit and bring it on back, that is the plan. Um, I also found trunk hinges. The uh, little bars are missing, but I can put those in. We can put the trunk on maybe a little bit more permanently. Weld that on. I don't even know if there's there's no latch on this thing, and I'm pretty sure the hardware is fine thread, so. We got all sorts of stuff to get and find. I'm gonna make a list tonight for all the hardware needed. And then we'll be back at tomorrow, but I should be able to get all the glass in. And if we're lucky, maybe my windshield will show up, because that'd be sweet. It'd look like a freaking car. Tri-5 Chevys always drive me nuts. If you're gonna paint them two-tone, don't have trim on them, they look awful. And they look awful without a windshield in them. Even a broken windshield or whatever, just so much shape is in the windshield. It drives me bananas, but uh, I'm looking to get get that all together. If it doesn't show up, we'll carry on welding. We'll just kind of, you know, lots of work here. We're waiting on parts. Story of my life, but man, is that close nice. We'll see you tomorrow. New day. Guess what? This, this was in the garage overnight. It still has snow in it. Sucks. Anyway, stuff showed up. So we got miscellaneous boxes. Actually, it's an overdrive unit which I never got from the border for uh, Danny's car so I have to put that in at some point we have Camaro brakes in that box we got windshield rubbers here in that in that bag a uh, bunch more Camaro stuff here so I'll be upcoming um, spindles discs and a power brake kit I got and then here is actually two windshields one for this thing and one for my black 57 sedan because it spidered and cracked so Pay the shipping once, right? So, Auto City Classics, love those guys. They're absolutely fantastic. They help me out big time, and I'll talk about the brake kit uh, when I get it. That being said, I went through and found some miscellaneous trim. So, this is the back trim, which this back rubber is pretty gross. I'm not changing it. I'll probably just put this in here, glue it in, <laughs> call her a day. As for the front, I don't know. I don't think this is hard, though. This is just kind of miscellaneous stuff. So this has to actually go in the rubber before it goes in. Then we have these bottom pieces and there's some little triangle bits here. So I will have to find another one of these to go in if I can. So that has to be tucked in the rubber before you rope the windshield in and all sorts of fun. But that'll be later on tonight. I want to get side glass in. So I went in the old bolt house. Got a bunch of miscellaneous. So I got these little, these were I was talking about yesterday kind of deals and since we're in Canada they will be Robertson but same thing and then I went and got some stainless here's 830 seconds deal screws I'll use that to attach those together but I think this actually has to go on first and then we'll put the glass in and then just put the screws in through a couple of mounting holes so that's the plan with that and then I didn't manage to find another wing window. I have a sedan one, so we'll have to just put that in for now, which will be ugly because I'll end up cutting it and all kinds of butchery, but at least this will go in. I have to figure out what we gotta do in the back of the other door. But for now, let's set the camera up. We'll put this glass in. I think everything works on it. Because I believe it all does. I know I got that, that going. Ooh, springs spring is broken in that but we can work with that at some other juncture and then this here it's only got one I think it's supposed to have two this is the stop for the window so it can be adjusted because of the hard top obviously it can go as high as you want which becomes a problem uh, we don't have any of the other stuff so like usual we're looking for trim and all that but at least all the glass all in it and ready to go this one was actually bent pretty straight in half but a little silicone you won't even know we need the angle bits and stuff, but you know what? We're working with what we got, which is very little, but it'll look cool. So, let's get set up on the tripod, put the glass in. 
Okay, let's go ahead and suffer together. So I rolled the window all the way up and there's a couple of little kind of neoprene wheels that this fits on. So I gave those a good uh, lubing, a little, whoop, little WD. Honestly, everything was, it was done pretty good. Now this clearly kind of only goes one way. You, have, you know, the regular, I don't know if you can put it in backwards. You might be able to, I'm sure I've done that. But the way the wheels are, this is gonna go on like that, exactly like this. And you can see where the two screw holes are that will go through to the window. So in my experience, um, you put this on first and you can kind of jiggle it around. And once I get it on there, you'll be able to see, well, it's probably these right here. We'll put the window up and in, and they'll line up where you can put your screws in. Pretty simple, honestly, hard top stuff. I shouldn't jinx myself, but typically hard top stuff is easier than sedan stuff. Sedan stuff, you're like cranking on the glass and it's ooh, stressful. And this does have a stop on the bottom. It's actually already on there, it's pretty sweet. And it has, like I said, those stops on the top. So that's that. Now, I can roll this up. Not too bad, so I can feel it there now. Look at the piece of glass. Don't drop it. I did actually, uh, I put a screw in this, so it's got a little bit of, a little bit of structure. Now, hard top glass, it's kind of got a shape to it. Now there's a left and a right. Um, this section here is what's gonna fit in that kind of black piece I think I showed yesterday. And then the regular glass edge will fit in there. Now, this one looks a little sacked out, but should be able to figure it out. Oh yeah, right in there. Oh yeah, see this right here, how it has these bends in it? That's what the stoppers hit off. I showed that or not, but they're the only thing you gotta kind of get past. Okay, kind of drop this down. So we'll have to go a little bit past, if I can. I hate glass with a passion. Oh, we're stuck on the stopper again. Uh, eh. There's all the tools. You know what step one should have been? Take the stopper out. Or at the very least loosen it. Now I've bugged up. There we go. Wanna make it past? Of course not. Let's just do it properly. Okay. Ooh, this thing's bent. Okay, that's not bad. Now, where's our little piece there? We get it right down on it. I know I can't really show you what I'm doing because honestly, I can't see what I'm doing. But basically, oh, there we go. Sounded like something happened. Look at that, okay. Line this unit up. Oh, I think we nailed it. Okay, put a couple of screws in there. Oh, it was stainless, because it's all they had, but still stainless screws. And I forgot to get a little, uh, there was locking kind of washers are. We'll just put two in here, just so it'll kind of hold itself in place. Here's so I want to strip, or the problem. Okay, that's not happening. What's going on here? What, what's the problem? Hang on, hang on. Oh. What is going on here? Oh, there we go. Sorry. Uh, clearly, I'm talking to myself. It's all making self in my brain, all making sense in my brain, but it doesn't relate in uh, 1080p, eh? What is happening? This is bent or something. It's not happy. That went in. Okay, hang on. Snug it. Snugged. This side. Snug. So again, you got to kind of be a little ginger. So it's a little too high. So we'll have to adjust the stop because I think we're probably going to, well, yeah, probably I guess where it was, eh? Perfect, hang on, you know what, we'll put the stop in. 
Did I lose a screw for the stop? Of course I did. It was a magnet. Oh, there it was. Uh, I guess probably gotta take it all apart, eh? So the stop, all it does is bolts on, threaded with a lock nut so you can adjust it up and down. I'll take that apart real quick, clean it. I'll put the uh, two remaining screws in, and I think that's kind of it on this side. Then we'll do the whole, you know, how's it for on the other side, but that's pretty slick. So there's the piece. Again, we have a stop at the bottom, so the window only goes so far and then can't go anymore. Uh, that actually goes a little bit too low, but you can adjust that. And on the way up, stops right there and I can't go any further because it's hitting this. We have another screw in there. You can see it's got a little, a little pressure on it. But that, at its height, Hang on, there we go. Um, there's a piece of chrome that goes on that and covers all in here. So it'll be all lined up. I actually have to go up just a hair more. Slam test? No, we'll go slow. Huh. Oh, that one is down. There must also have to be a piece of rubber that goes on that too. Now that I look at it, it's got a slot in it. Where is it? We need some... Uh, trim and whatnot on this way I could for whoops how far do you think it goes probably something like that ish maybe that's kind of vertical oh yeah so obviously there's a piece of rubber that goes in there and that glass can maybe go up just a little higher that one's go a little lower I'm not really too sure but yeah ignore the the top bit of chrome we don't have <laughs> Uh, apparently those flappers are just nightmares to deal with anyways, but or flippers, whatever they're called. So you gotta do that, but again, we have, I have the chrome piece, actually this door has it. Is it screwed in? Oh, that goes in before, damn it, you put all the wing window in. We might be able to scab that in right quick. And then we have all the stuff for the other side, except for the wing window, so we'll be, Modifying, but I think we're gonna do. I'll, I'll mess with that a little bit on my own. They'll come back, we'll get all this junk out, and we'll put the back window in because it's actually pretty interesting. Um, I will say it was a little frustrating, but I found a Dan truck video and it was super informative actually. So, you know, those guys, uh, whatever you think of them, they're pretty good when it comes to installation videos. So, I was pretty happy with it. So, we'll do that, and then obviously, door glass on the side. You just saw me do it, so I'll do it right quick, and then we'll look for some trim. Convince Danny to come out here, put the windshield in, or put the deck lid on one or the other. We should probably lower it actually, put it on the ground if we're going to do the windshield. Because she won't be able to reach nothing. Okay, so this side, we'll go ahead and put together right quick. Pretty simple. Um, we have our regulator. We have these two kind of goopy hockey stick looking things. Again, this is one of those things like, man, when you're buying a car in pieces, Stuff like this can be a little frustrating. This is the back glass, and it already has its little slit on it. Is this not tinted, this glass? Huh. That side's tinted. This is not. Well. <laughs> Custom, I guess. Uh, where did I put the WD? I'm just going to bathe all these down in oil right quick. Uh... The handles on that door too. Right up and down. I mean, now is the time to clean these things, right? So we'll get that in. I'll just do it right quick. So it goes. There's a hole there where that's going to go in. Four holes line up. It'll look like that by the inside and lubed up next time you see it. Okay, regular is in. I gotta say this one was seized for the last 20 minutes, kind of screwing with it, and it's not bad. It's got a little hard spot right, kind of where it was stuck. So, I don't know. It needs to be worked back and forth, but pickling it in oil will be fine. Now, what do we gotta do here? So this piece, oh, like you can just see the shape of the way this goes. The glass, so the regulator fits in here, and then one of these hockey sticks goes in the front, and one goes in the back, and the uh, Dan Chuck video was pretty informative. Basically, you take, well, there was a takeout video, so we're gonna do it opposite. But uh, this back one 
goes in like that maybe oh yeah hang on I'm, I'm up backwards yeah so I think kind of something along them lines is that how that works no I'm way off but we'll do that one secondary this is the first one that goes in and it fits so you gotta kind of jam it around the regulator this is kind of stupid I gotta say not the greatest design put a little washer and a nut on that then down below where the seat is I guess I could have taken the seat out for optimum view but it's kind of struggle here my life. Yeah. So we have to get this piece locked in, so I'm going to struggle with this for a minute. Ow. Okay, so we got that piece in. Now the next step uh, hose down the hockey sticks. I didn't do that. These are all technical tripod Chevrolet terms. And we have to kind of thread the needle. So the regulator has to go in there, and the first little hockey stick piece has to go in the front. You gotta kind of tilt the glass in. Okay, so. First one's in. Now if we drop the regulator down. Uh, down, not up. So we have the ball back there. Oh, gentle. What an absolute ridiculous setup. So can you guys see in here? So we have our one hockey stick at the back, our regulator here, and the other one, you can see it runs down that way. And you can see how the glass kind of does all sorts of goofiness. When it's all the way up, it goes down, but it kind of back down first. And then all of a sudden, right here, starts dropping down equal and then out oh, the front goes faster like what in the heck that is a crazy setup so next time you're mad at your glass guy or interior guy on hardtop or tripod chevrolet bear in mind that's a lot of work and you can't get frustrated because it's glass and it's not tinted what a disaster <laughs> and i think this side glass is tinted so now I have to go try and find something that will fit here temporarily, which would be ugly. I could actually probably put in a standard sedan one because there's no trim at the top. What do we got here? And these are left and right. Uh. <laughs> so now I know it looks like... Is this a hardtop one? Shit, this is a hardtop one. Wow. Is that right? Hang on, I need a minute here. 
This is a hardtop one, then we're set. Kyle looks like it might be. This didn't come with the car. This was in my own stash. Where the hell did I get this from? Huh. Right, I gotta think about this. It might not be it. It can't be. It, it just can't be. Well, it would appear as though this glass is correct. Um, I don't have a little trim piece here, so away she goes. Now again, so the 210, which this is, um, instead of having trim that goes the whole way back on the door and then into the, the back, it just has like one little section. The other side is like a Bel Air door. That is gonna be, I think, kind of tricky to find, but such is life. So now let's put this in. Oh, I'm also gonna have to modify. So this is that, this is that track I was talking about that runs in the door, which straight. So this is actually the other side one, which was broke. That's why I took it off. It has, you know, not broken, it just has some stuck hardware. Um, unfortunately though, as you can see, the mounting holes are offset. So I'm gonna do, I don't have another one of these, both uh, this door and the other one doesn't have it. So again, get as many freaking parts cars as you can. But luckily this one is there, so I can probably zip it and then just flip it and weld it on the other side, thus making a driver's side a passenger side. But that should be able to slide down the glass afterwards. So now, let's go ahead and put this together. So same thing, we're gonna slide the glass piece in, glass in, couple of screws up and down, some fast motion. This one has no stops on it. Oh, that door does have some, so that's pretty sweet. Let's just go ahead and put this together. We'll modify the other side. We're done with side glass. Then we get to screw around with uh, windshield. Ooh. So I got the piece and I just trimmed all the bits off. Got the, uh, is that all hot? No, I got the stripped out piece off. So it's gonna go from that to that ish. So we'll just grind this down right quick. Then I can weld her. Got the welding table set up, the fixture table. I thought it was a good joke. I didn't hear or get it. Oh, on the welding table, which is the um, car. Oh, see, it's not a joke when it's real life. For me, <laughs> for these people, it's a terrible joke. <laughs> Why are you welding? You need to put your covers. Where's your work table? <laughs> it's in the country with our house. <laughs> this is sketchy. Watch out. This is not welding great. Do you think it's because I didn't clean it? Do any sort of prep? You have the most coming out, but you're using... Everything is fighting me here. For how small the garage is, you think everything would be close, but these doors are in the way. <laughs> This is really a... I'm going to turn we're looking for is schmozzle. <laughs> a lot of times that's why this is fast motion. Can't tell. Oh, the piece fell off and now it's gone. I should have taken a small picture. Did you film cutting it off? No, I was talking to you. Oh. That's the problem. Hey. You really bone this one, Danielle. Well, you know what? Paid more attention to your work instead of chasing tail. Just so we're clear, <laughs> I never pay attention to my work. <laughs> in the worst case, we'll weld it in, and if it's wrong, we'll just redo it. Oh, that didn't sound good. That's a bad weld.
good-ish, good adjacent. So now, this just lines up, then we're set. Trick is to put it on the glass while it's nice and hot. I ordered Pyrex glass. What is going on? I think this window regulator is kind of wore out too. Okay. This goes. Oh. Not only does it have to switch sides, it has to switch top and bottom, I think. Does that make sense? No, it shouldn't. Oh, no. No, no, I nailed it. I nailed it. This is hot. You know what? We'll just cool it real quick in the freezer. <laughs> You're blocking the door of the freezer. <laughs> it's all cold. The friggin' door screwed up. The only advantage to cold is this. What happened to the door? I don't know. Got full of snow and unhappiness, so instead of fixing it, I locked it. Oh, this might have to go on before the friggin' glass goes in. I thought I could cheat it. Man, it's not my day. Can I figure this out? I shouldn't have filmed any of this. <laughs> it's not making the video. <laughs> Why? Because it's embarrassing. I usually edit all this good stuff out. Beatty's Speech Up is built on embarrassing moments. Bread and butter. It's who we are as people. You ain't wrong about that. You know what? You should audition for baton. It's only got four ways it can go in. Look at this light, though, eh? Better watch you that light was really thinking about you. Glass has to come out. Damn! <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> I think I nailed it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. We are close. Where's the light? Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. Man, okay, now I just gotta get some hardware. They got some next door. And this piece is in, then the window will go up and down. Man. Okay. Be back. Damn it. Be back shortly. <laughs> Did it fall? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you know it works. Yeah. Okay, so piece went in there. It's, uh, smoothly. Smoothly. It was so smoothly, we didn't film it. <laughs> I tried, you guys. I tried. It was a little embarrassing. <laughs> So we got her in there. I had to make a bolt with some all thread, so it's a little janky, and I didn't put a washer on. We'll do that uh, phase two. And this uh, sticks at the front here. I got to loop that up, but otherwise, she goes up and down. I don't know why it grabs it. Oh, it's folded in. I see. So I'll have to spray lube that a little, but we got all the glass in ish. That door sags a little bit with the glass in it now. This one still is good. We're put the back up. This back one is not the plan. It's unhappy, this regulator. Did I just break it? Oh no, it's still good. It's just stiff. Right at the end there. Kind of has to go just a little bit more. Is it vertical? Oh yeah. Just need a little bit. No, it has to go up just a little bit more. Oh, it's stuck on. So I'll have to play with that. I think once this piece of glass is up. Oh, there we go. It's up. <laughs> it's a little too far. It's not bad. 
Now we need just everything. <laughs> Mind the gaps. I didn't think it would look as bad, actually. I thought the glass in it would be okay. <laughs> it looks real bad without the trim. It looks awful. <laughs> but people can throw treats at us. This piece I, I might just have to buy. I think it might be two pieces. And then this is a whole ordeal. So I'll have to, you know, spend some money on that. And I guess a piece of trim in there. But, hmm, that really does kill the look of the thing. I mean, it looks better than it did, but... I mean, you don't have the radius 57 without gaps, I guess. Well, I don't have any of the trim inside, like, so, yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of loving, but, oh, well, make a list of what we need and, uh, big borrow and steel. Okay, so that's where we leave that for now. I'm going to go look in the basement for, I think I have another piece of trim, maybe even better trim than this. This is pretty, this is four-door trim. Perfect. So we'll see if I can get something else. And then we'll pull the glass out. I gotta find some twine. I don't know if I have any. I thought I did, but I don't. And then drop down its front wheels. Danny will help me put the front glass in. And she's gotta go play video games. And then deck lid on. Car done. Queen Glitter Chaos on Twitch. Oh, there we go. Thank you. So now I think we're doing a few funny things. I'm not a hundred percent expert on the way this goes, but I'm pretty sure we're doing it wrong. <laughs> Um, I actually managed to find some miscellaneous stuff. I'm pretty sure this is sedan stuff, but it's what we have. Now, as you can see, it's got this little kind of hook in it, and that is designed to fit on the glass. So I put the rubber on, but as you can see, you kind of put it in there, and then as you rope it in, it holds it. It's ugly. Now, this one here has a line that goes the whole way around, so I don't know if you're supposed to put trim the whole way, we don't have bottom trim. Well, we have some bottom trim, but it's, it's probably wrong. So it's this, which is off some sort of 57 Bel Air sedan, which will go on there. And we have a piece that joins the two. So that will go kind of on the side and then it changes into this style. And that goes right there. Now the issue we're gonna run into this may be too long. Well, it's long for sure. Um, because sedan is a good thing. Sedan windows are like an inch taller than hard tops, so be aware of that. What else we got going on? Yeah, so that's kind of that. We got it down the ground. Got it warm in here as so the glass is warm. I don't have any twine, but I do have like, like 12 or 14 gauge wire, or 18 gauge wire. So we're gonna try and rope that in there and see if that works. If not, I'll run down the store and get it. So what we're gonna try and do is there's a bottom, this lip right here, that has to peel over and fit over this. So we're gonna clean all this junk out of here, set the glass in, and kind of pull it in as we put a little pressure in. I've had really good luck with it. Oh, I actually think I have this piece. I wonder if I should put that on first. Yeah, I guess maybe it'll fit in the rubber. I'll just kind of peel it back. Um, I should put it in first. What was I saying there? Oh, so this is a uh, Auto City uh, glass. I've had really good luck with it before. I've gotten the local cheap Chinese stuff, and I don't know where this is from. I, I shouldn't say it's anything different, but the corners of tri fibers they stick out, and it's just a nightmare to get in in two different sedans I've had. <clears throat> and since I've been getting it from here, it's been Auto City Classics. Glass? Auto City. Google it, um, and it's been fantastic. It fits really good. Uh, they're on the stick when it comes to shipping and the price is fair, so you can't go wrong. And they have clear smoke and green. Always go green, by the way, but uh, that's the plan. So I'm gonna go and get some soapy water in this, grab Danielle, and we'll see if we can sneak this thing in there. I also kind of cheat. I might grind this edge down and make it just like a insert. And we can always put it in after which might be the plan. You know what? This is definitely not factory correct. As you guys know, this is the old like bottom dollar. We're call it the worst 57 Chevy because it is the worst 57 Chevy, but it's mine and I love it and it looks cool and it's coming together. And uh, I have a hard top. Now let's look for this piece right here. Put that in real quick if I have it. So we'll see what happens. It's always so stressful and frustrating, but uh, let's try five windshields. 
I'm on the wrong side here somehow, no matter what we gotta stand. Okay. Might need you to put that on the tripod and then grab the other side of this. Just so I can kind of slide it on. Gonna go your way a little bit more. A little more probably. It looks like it's. Can you just kind of? So we got to get this lined up first. There we go. Okay. Not like under it. Just kind of. Yeah, it will kind of do its own thing. Well, it's, that's actually not bad. We need this piece. We gotta kind of screw around and knock it around and all sorts of things. We could actually go your way just a hair so it's equal. There we go. Okay. So now. <sighs> Ready to be stressed out? <laughs> uh huh. So we gotta try and put pressure down on it. So we'll start on. What is going on? Someone didn't clean up in here very well. You know what it probably is? It's this windshield rubber was probably assembled in China, and the young children were probably smoking while they were making it. Okay, push in. Okay, window in. Um, not bad, I mean, it fit pretty decent. The corners are a little unhappy, but I actually think, you know what it is, it's probably the gasket. So it needs that little piece of trim in there, which will hold it, but it's not bad. I've seen lots where you can put your finger right through. So now, unfortunately, because I got frustrated and didn't put the trim in when it was going on, uh, I'm gonna grind down the edge and we're gonna slip it in and knock it in with a mallet. If you're a glass guy, look away. Much on the camera, but there you go. Actually, it looks pretty good. Try five Chevrolet. Okay. Um, hmm. Actually, I think I had trim that looked like this downstairs that didn't have the little. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay. I'm going to clean that trim up, continue talking to myself, and see if we can get it to fit in there and see what it looks like. Uh, anyone who's a professional, if you haven't already continued skipping, I would recommend it. So I've taken our trim. I put all, every bit of trim I had out. This uh, Everything is just twisted and junk and this is sedan trim and who knows what, but I ground some down. Um, I got a bunch of soapy water in here. So my plan is just this little bit here, it puts a little bit of pressure and opens up and just kind of pushes the glass down. It just has to go down just a scotch. Now this is the part that you probably don't want to watch. Trust me, it's it's fine. Professional hack here. So we get that started. See, it's already, it's just so tweaked up here. And that's my own uh, 
storage methods. Can we get this in here? Oh, that's not happy. I left a lip on this back edge hoping I could kind of get it in there. The other side I actually didn't. It was kind of loose. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure any glass guy does not have a hammer in their toolbox. Luckily, I'm not a glass guy, so this is totally acceptable. Let me just get this in there. Oh, there we go. So you can see it's bent. We'll line her up. Get her all in there. And then, uh, if you want down the road, a little dollop of silicone or something like that in there might fix everything. Wow, this like, is the wrong way to do everything. Okay, come on. There we go. Look at that. So, <laughs> but let's just get a few more pieces here. We can, I gotta get some uh, hold downs because this stuff here, there's, see these little holes there and there. There's little clips that go in here with, you know, threaded, threaded rod or something like that. And then I believe the windshield wiper cover kind of squeezes it, but we'll put that on. Kind of something like that. And this thing kind of goes on. Yeah. This will just kind of hold a little. But I mean, ish, right? I don't think that is at all proper. I'm missing the center bit and probably center bit there, but it kind of is what it is. Um, back here, same thing. We'll just kind of have to glue, glue this in at some point. <laughs> Maybe after we paint it or clear coat it. So yeah, that's not bad. I'm happy with it. So now I'm gonna clean some junk out of the back here. I wanna put the tailgate or the trunk lid, losing it, the deck lid on there and we'll just have it on so it just kind of uh, closes. There's no latch mechanism on it whatsoever and it'll be free flowing. There'll be no spring on it. So it'll be a, a, be a hassle. Look at all this stuff, Camaro parts. I'll move that next door, put that on. I think I wanna leave it up on jack stands for now. So I have to do a little bit of welding at the back. Actually, the front rocker, I have to jack the front end up. But uh, get it all together. In the next video, we'll peel all this off and paint it. I was going to move it to the other garage, but it's supposed to get a little bit warmer tomorrow on the next day. I think I'll just tough it out here. The car's already here, a little bit of cleaning. I mean, honestly, who really cares? I don't know if I'm going to spray it or wipe it on. I haven't decided yet. Probably should spray just because I don't think wiping on this is the plan. But, yeah. If you... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna try and muscle <clears throat> muscle this thing in here. So my light, because of course it's gonna be dark in there the second I try and do anything. Put our bolts one on each side. This is where, you know, if you had a father that loved you and stuff like that, he could be here helping, but instead he's not because he's a wuss with the winter. Oh god. Okay that in there. What? Who put a piece of all, all thread rod in there? Okay. <laughs> we have a problem. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, hang on. This one. Oh. Yeah. oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So where does this go? Why am I working on this side with no light? That's dumb.
Well, those of you keeping track, do not try and put it all in one unit. Um, so we have some spacing issues. I think probably what happens is those springs give it a little bit of preload, whereas these will just kind of do whatever. So we got to space the back up. We have to bring it in. And uh, by bringing the back up, it'll pull this down and kind of tilt it, and the whole deck has to go in. But that's... It's, it was too tall. <laughs> I need a second person, like someone just to hold the, the lift gate, zing it, try it back and forth. I don't have any mechanism or latch or whatever, so it may be hood pins. I think that might be something kind of neat. Let me know what you guys think about that. Because ultimately, I think the bottom of the fenders are going to be hood pinned. The top might be hood pinned. I think the, the hood's going to be pinned. But, uh, you know, if you squint just right, well, it's a 57 Chevy Tudor hardtop. Uh, it would look way better with those big tires on. I really wish I could put it on. They'll be on for the thumbnail, I promise that. But um, I have to get under there, do a bunch of welding, and I do have to reshape that uh, that wheel arch. Just kind of, you know, figure something out just so the big tires do fit. These probably won't be the tires that go on it, but uh, these specific ones, well, whatever. I do want a big tire on this thing. And I don't know what I'm going to have for a, a wheel offset and all that, but I want to make sure it's uh, a big, meaty tire hunkered to the ground. Oh, I'm motivated again. I think we're going to do one more video where we paint this thing, clear coat it, I should say, and maybe put the trim on because we got all that trim for those guys, which I really appreciate. Then it'll look like a freaking car. Then we're like, short list. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I, <laughs> I'm sure it was a bit of a weird one. We have... Uh, Green, green, clear, green. What we got on this side? Clear, green, clear, green. <laughs> oh, that's good. And what do you expect with the worst 57 Chevy? Hard tops look the best. 57 Chevy two or hard top. This is the angle. Friggin' David Newburn. I don't know why I love his car so much, but just this look, he nailed it. And ultimately, I'm copying it, but I'm going to have a bigger rear tire. And I probably won't trailer it around. Anyways, that's for me. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you tomorrow or the next day uh, for the next video. Please leave a comment below. I appreciate every single one of them. And subscribe to the channel. Helps us uh, grow and <laughs> put, put in a bunch of miscellaneous glass. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Stay warm if you're somewhere cold.